Hey guys welcome back. So today I've got the Tecno Camon 16 Premiere and right off the bat it's their flagship phone. So it's the best, most high-end phone they offer as of now and thanks to Tecno Kenya for hooking me up with this review unit. I've been using it for a while now and it's been the first Tecno phone I've ever used so I do have some interesting thoughts. Getting the price out of the way first, it's available for 28,000 Kenya shillings or 19,000 Indian rupees equivalent to $270 for the 128GB model and if I'm not wrong that's the only storage configuration that's available and is very respectable. Not forgetting that it supports expansion via microSD card and can also handle dual SIMs at the same time. Looking at the build of the device, it has a plastic back and frame with a glass covered camera module housing the quad camera setup which we'll get into in a minute. This is the glacial silver color variant and weirdly the only color option available for this phone. It's a nice flashy color but it would have been nice to see a darker color option. There is a fingerprint scanner embedded right within the power button and has worked amazingly well for me. You just need to press the power button with a registered finger and you literally won't even realize that it's authenticating you. It takes you right to the home screen. There is also a setting in the menu that allows the fingerprint to be live all the time, which means that you don't need to press the power button. Instead, you lay your finger on the button and it unlocks the phone, which is equally fast if not faster. On the bottom of the device, there is a teeny and tiny speaker, which is the single loudspeaker on this phone, a Type-C charging port and a 3.5mm headphone jack. If you haven't transitioned to a wireless means yet and just can't live without it, you'll find it right here on this device. Moving on to the screen, it's one of the standout factors of this phone. It's a massive 6.9 inch 1080p IPS LCD panel that supports HDR10 plus and also has a refresh rate of 90 Hz. Although the response time of the screen isn't that fast, the higher refresh rate does cover up for it. There is a dual punch hole camera cutout to house the selfie cameras, but otherwise the bezels all around the sides are pretty thin. The panel is also very vibrant and outputs rich colors with a reasonable amount of brightness. Scrolling around feeds and even gaming feel great on this phone. And since we're already onto it, the phone has a MediaTek Helio G90T octa-core CPU and that paired with the 8GB of RAM inside provide performance that won't disappoint no matter what you're doing. I've consumed a lot of content on this phone and also been playing Asphalt 9 regularly which it's handled like a champ, so no complaints when it comes to performance. Coming to the cameras on this phone, the phone has a total of 6 sensors, 4 on the back and 2 on the front. And it seems like Tecno has really focused on the camera system of this phone. The phone's also literally been advertised to be a camera phone. The quad camera setup on the back includes a 64 megapixel main sensor, an 8 megapixel ultra wide sensor, a 2 megapixel dedicated video camera, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor in addition to the pent LED flashlight. The camera also supports video up to 4K at 30 frames per second. The front includes a 48 megapixel main sensor and an 8 megapixel wide sensor with a front dual LED flashlight. I don't remember the last time I saw that, but here yeah, you'll manage to get lit selfies out of this phone thanks to it. In terms of the actual photos I managed to pull out, I wasn't disappointed too. The colors and contrast look just fine, although the sharpening algorithm is noticeably more heavy handed. The HDR also does a good job at retaining details from the shadows, however does not always kick in when set on auto HDR. The ultra wide is amazing to have and although the colors it captures are quite inconsistent when compared to the main sensor, it also works as a macro sensor which captures good shots. The night mode capability of this phone is amazing and although it does take a couple more seconds to capture the shot, it manages to retain an impressive amount of detail in low light scenarios. 
Here are some shots I took comparing the auto mode and the night mode and it's done a great job. Overall, the cameras on the Camon 16 Premier are versatile and will be able to capture good shots in most scenarios. Although it's missing a telephoto or zoom lens, even with its quad camera setup, I'm very impressed with the cameras we get on this phone. Talking about software, the Camon 16 Premier runs on Android 10 with the iOS 7.0 skin on top of it. And to be honest, I don't really like it. It's a very heavy handed skin and has a lot of bloatware. Like when I set up the phone for the first time, I was bombarded with notifications that I just couldn't dismiss. I had to search for quite a lot of apps and either uninstall or disable them to finally get a clean notification panel. Secondly, there are still many apps that cannot be removed and they do send regular notifications, which is kinda annoying. The user interface and all that seems fine, well at least after I spent almost half an hour to clean up all the things that I know I'll never use. All in all, the out of the box software experience isn't great, but after investing some time to make it look and feel like what I require, it's something that you can get used to, especially considering everything else the device offers at the given price point. The battery life on this phone is shockingly good, like I've managed to get a full day out of it literally every day. And that's with high brightness and 90Hz left on, ending the day with about 30-40% of charge still left. It has a 4500mAh battery with 33W fast charging and the charging adapter included very conveniently right inside the box. The phone also charges very fast, so I usually don't leave it to charge overnight, which is also good for the health of the battery. To wrap up with the Camon 16 Premier, the verdict is that it offers amazing value for its price. A large and fast 90Hz display, 4 cameras including a 64MP main snapper with 4K video capture support and electronic image stabilization, dual selfie cameras, a respectable MediaTek G90T chipset with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of expandable storage and a sizable 4500mAh battery, even complete with fast 33W charging. The only real downside according to me is Techno's iOS software, especially with the bloatware and other features that should have been simple to now require workarounds. But at the end of the day, it's running on 110, which means that you can change and tweak literally anything. So if you know how to do that and customize your phone depending on your requirements, then this phone will be great for you. <laughs> well, that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you guys in the next video.